and live. That was fast. Hello. How are we doing? How are we doing, healer? We're going to get this party started because we're going to talk about the difference between an amateur and a professional. Leaders launch, amateurs join. We're going to talk about the differences and I'm really going to get into the mindset around this because I think it's important to understand that one of the reasons you have to replace people all the time, and I think the reason that we're always rebuilding is because we forget the fact that we're always supposed to be building, right? Like, I just said this the other day to somebody I was coaching, and they're like, yeah, I just feel like I'm always rebuilding. And I'm like, okay, well, if you had a traditional business, that traditional business, would you stop building it? Would you be like, hey, when can I stop building this? Or would you look at it like, when can I sell it? <laughs> so, I mean, at this point in your business, none of you should be thinking about how many times you're going to have to rebuild something. So I just want to have a real conversation with you today. If that's all right, drop all right in the comment section. If you're live, drop live. If you're on the replay, drop replay. And as always, if you share this into your team chats or your team page, please drop the word shared in the comment section because I like to give away swag. We have our sip and slay mug. We, um, I'm actually going to give two of those away today. So I'm going to give two sip and slay mugs away today. So you can sip and slay with me every morning. How's that sound? So all you have to do is share this in your chats. And here's the other thing, you know, like, I just want you to know that anytime I share any kind of information, it's either something I've personally been through or where I've had a personal aha moment or where I've helped a client of mine or a leader on my team through it. So just know that this is always coming from not a place of like, oh, I just made it up out of thin air. It's real life stuff that's helped me build multiple seven figure businesses. So all on social media, I might add, because mama don't like to leave her house. Can you see my hot mess behind me? So I literally was like, oh, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to have the nice background for you guys. And I didn't feel like walking up the stairs. Just going to keep it 100. <laughs> I can't, right? I can't. I mean, what's wrong with me? But anyway, so I'm excited. Um, oh, and before I forget, Lead Slayer Challenge waitlist is open. And so you can get on the Lead Slayer Challenge waitlist, leadslayerchallenge.com. Can I post that on the chat? Yeah, I can. Lead Slayer. Nope, that's not how you spell it, Brina. Leadslayerchallenge.com. Pull that up on your other phone or whatever. The wait list is completely free. But if you're on the wait list, what happens is this. You're one, going to guarantee yourself a personal concierge. So if you're already on it, say I'm on the wait list. Whoop, whoop. I see you, Laura. I see. I see. Okay. So one, it's going to guarantee you a personal concierge for the challenge if you purchase from the wait list. If you're one of the first, right? If you're one of the first five people that purchases the $27 challenge, it's a live five-day challenge where I help you put 100 leads on your list in just five days, okay? If you're one of the first five people, you're actually going to get to prospect with me for an hour. Pretty cool, huh? Um, we do have a VIP offer. That'll be $97. For those of you that are like, I want the VIP status all the way, you will see that will be an option as well to go with the 27 and you can buy the lifetime recordings or you will have replay access for a week. Okay. So yeah, the challenge is going to be awesome. It's going to be a blast. So I would definitely say, get your teams registered, leadslayerchallenge.com for the wait list. And as soon as it goes live, April 7th, right, that's when the $27 will go on sale. And we've got bonuses too. There's a whole bunch of freaking bonuses you get. Oh, you get five entries into winning $500 cash at the end of the challenge as well. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Get on the wait list. It's $27. It's a no-brainer. Like literally the bonuses you're going to get are worth way more than $27. And the personal concierge who's going to be pointing you directions. And you're going to get a gift from them. I forgot. Oh, I just hit my finger. Anyway, guys like my new nails. I got these done today. They glow in the dark. They're so not Easter and I don't care because I just love my brand colors. And so like I always keep it on brand. All right. So Kim said she shared it in her group chat. Congratulations. Well to go. Way to go. So I am going to pick right now two people to win a sip and slay mug. 
If you win, you have to email support at momsandheels.com, support at momsandheels.com, and claim your prize. We have screenshots of the winners because that's how we roll, so don't try to claim a prize if it ain't yours. Ready? Here we go. And you're going to hear toddler in the background. Stop. Let's see. Shared. Kelly. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations, babe. Email support at momsandheels.com. You want a sip and slay mug. Next winner. Stop. Clara Bellino. Congratulations, Boo Thang. You want a sip and slay mug as well. Email support at momsandheels.com so you can grab things. I'm so glad you like my nails. Yes. All right. So let me keep this lead slayer up there. So when I reference it, people are like, what is that? It's just on there. Boom. So it's on there so people can see it. All right. So let's get in the good, shall we? I want you to remember that amateurs join a business. So if you are talking to prospects and you're like, hey, are you going to join my business? Or hey, I'm excited for you to join my business. You're already setting this expectation that you're an amateur and so are they. Just keep this in mind. Just hear me out for a second. I sure as hell don't want somebody coming in and just joining. I want somebody to come in and achieve what they truly desire. And I want to help them get there as fast as they possibly can. So I know as a leader, I didn't join my business. I didn't join my upline. I launched when I came in because I decided that I wanted to be a professional. But here's what's happening, right? And just so you can kind of get that mindset of it, like I was talking about in the very beginning, most of you are under this impression that you're going to build this massive organization one time and you're never going to have to rebuild a leg. You're never going to have to replace people or your customers are going to stay with you forever, which is great. Some of you have amazing retention. I know I have great retention, but I know at the end of the day, like having a customer for life, that's a lot of work on my end to keep that retention. And the best that I can do doesn't mean that somebody's going to stick around. There's something new that could pop up, like all the things, right? So I have the right expectations knowing that as a business, as an entrepreneur, I would never open a shoe store and say, I'm only going to let this many customers buy. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Or I'm only going to allow this many people that want to sell my shoes to sell my shoes. I would never do that, right? I'd be like, how many people want to sell my shoes so I can leverage more people to make more money? Eh, and our, right? We don't think about it like that because we look at network marketing and we all we hear, all we hear when we join is get rich. It ain't about getting rich. It's about creating a lifestyle that you love so you don't wake up every day miserable. That's what it's about, right? So you've got that in your head, which we need to push to the side there. We need to like stop thinking like that. You need to think like a freaking entrepreneur and a boss and be like, yo, I might have to rebuild this thing a couple times and who cares? Because why would we want to stop telling people about this incredible opportunity, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. So in your head, you're like, I'm only going to do this once. I'll never do this again. I hear this from leaders all the time. In fact, I just enrolled two brand new leaders uh, in the last week. And before they enrolled, they were like, I'm never doing this again. Like, I don't ever want to build again. One, they've had some bad taste in their mouth because they have MLM PST, PTSD, right? I'm sure some of you can relate to that. Drop MLM PTSD in the comments if you're like, yes, I've been there. Or maybe you've had some crappy things have happened and it's given you a bad taste in your mouth about the industry or about certain type of companies, right? So I'm talking to both of them. They both are saying the same thing. Like, I don't want to do this again. Like, I don't think I have it in me to do it again. And I remember thinking in my head the same thing back in 2017. Like, I was just like, I built a massive organization of 35,000 plus people and I did not want to build again. And so when I think about wh what decisions I made and why I decided to build all over again were for a couple of reasons. 
one, I love that one of my mentors, Justin Prince, talks about all the time that when you are in, when you are a creative leader, when you are a leader, when you are creative, when you are called to serve, you can't just like turn that light switch off. Can anybody relate to that? Like you literally wake up excited about working your business or you wake up excited about what today could bring with your business or how you can help your customers or how you can help or how you can serve your team. Like you can't just turn that off. That's a calling. Just so you know, like that's a calling. And so a lot of you are like, I don't ever want to do this again. I have MLMS, MLML, ML, MLM, PTSD. I am done, right? Like I have leaders that are probably watching this right now. Like, oh my God, she's talking to me. No, no boo. Okay. Just like Tom Brady couldn't retire. You can't retire either. You notice how he came back. It wasn't because of gas prices. It's because it's a switch. He can't turn off. You can't turn it off. And so I need you to remember that. And I want you to have this in your mind, right? You can turn that switch back on at full blown mode at any time that you want. You just have to make that decision. You really have to make that decision. Well, here comes the Italian in me, like the hand. The hand is here today, okay? Do we have this emoji? The hand emoji? Yeah. There is an Italian one? Oh, Maron, I want to see you guys drop the Italian hand. Okay. Oh, my God. Drop the Italian hand. I My life is complete. My switch is off. No, I'm just kidding. You're a creator, dude. Like, you can't turn it off. And to create the lifestyle that you want, walking away from network marketing is the dumbest decision you could ever make. No, it didn't show. I saw the eye roll. Okay, I see everybody dropping it. I just can't see it because I'm on StreamYard, maybe. Oh, okay. That's probably why, because I'm on StreamYard. Brady's got more players to help. He told me in my team. Marina is right. Right? Yeah. He's got more people to help. And it's true. It's not about him anymore. What, for him to get another ring? What, for me to make more money? In order for me to help more people, that means I'm going to make more money. It's literally that simple as my toddler screams in the background. So you've got to make the decision to think like an amateur or to think like a professional. Amateurs join businesses. Amateurs let people join their team. Leaders launch their business and launch people that become a part of their mission and team. I don't let people just join me. I launch. I get ghosted, just an FYI. People will enroll and they ghost me. I don't, I, I'm i like, what did I do, right? Like, so I've been there, like, don't freak out. You know what I mean? Like, don't freak out at all. That still happens to me. But that's not my fault and that's not your fault. So let that go. Let that go. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, so I've got some notes here. Your team, you need to always remember this. You're thinking like a professional, right? So every day when you're prospecting, every day when you're talking to your team, you have to remind yourself that people are going to match your energy. So if I show up shitty, people around me are going to seem shitty or they're going to be like ill and not want to be around me. So I need to make sure I'm matching that energy. And so you need to remember that. Think of Tom Brady. If you're like, who the hell is Tom Brady? Yo, you living under a rock? He is my favorite of all time. I am a diehard Patriot fan. But then when he switched, I became a Tom Brady fan. 21 years with him. So I am a Brady fan until he retires for real, for real. I don't know when that's going to be. He'll probably like 60. We'll be 60, so play him. So I want you to match the energy. No, excuse me. You're the one leading with the energy. So your people are going to match your energy. So if I show up somewhere and I'm like, I'm a leader, I'm a creator, I'm creating that environment. I'm creating the energy around me. You know what I mean? So I want you to act like a professional and not an amateur. You are a leader. Leaders launch. Leaders don't worry about replacing volume. Leaders don't worry about things not being there. You don't have a scarcity mindset. 
You have an abundant energy around you. You're ready to help whoever's ready to be helped and get out there and tell your story and share this opportunity. Stick to the basics of it and create some energy around it and launch some people. I will see you at the Lead Slayer Challenge, leadslayerchallenge.com. Get on the wait list. We are going to start April 21st, but tickets go on sale April 7th for $27. I hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.